Growing up young, around eight years old, grew a love for the sport. My goal was to get to the NBA. And finally, Kawhi Leonard from Moreno Valley, California. Leonard bringing this defense to its knees. I'm trying to go in and be my own player. I'm going to make a name for myself. He's one of the very best forwards in all of college basketball. You know, I've been working my whole life to get here. You know, I like to win games and be a champion. For myself growing up in Palmdale, I knew I loved the game. I didn't know how far it was going to take me. Yes! Paul George nails it! George elevates and detonates. I just feel like I got a lot of potential to continue to grow. You know, I think the sky's the limit. The Indiana Pacers select Paul George of Fresno State University. Kawhi Leonard from San Diego State University. The superstar in the making. Kawhi Leonard again! Whoa. Leonard for three. Bang! Paul George. Paul George knocking it down from deep. How about Paul George? Takes it strong. Sheer force and dominance. Me and Kawhi are pretty close. Those two players, along with our roster, it is deep. They are talented. Deep and stacked with new stars. You know, we both Southern Cal guys. Kawhi is a closer. What a shot for Kawhi Leonard! Paul George is a closer. George over Gobert. It's good! We both wanted to play for the city. The Los Angeles Clippers. This is something special, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Paul, would you like to make some opening remarks? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. Wow. Um, lost for words. But uh, that's that day. Um, I'm extremely excited, extremely happy to be back home. First and foremost, I just want to thank the whole Thunder organization. Um, Mr. Bennett, Sam Presti, um, for the partnership that we had there. It was a great two years there for me. Um, but, you know, ultimately, they, uh, you know, helped me find my way back home to L.A. And uh, very appreciative of that moment. Um, it's pretty dope. It's pretty awesome. I remember uh, when I was in Indy and we drafted Kawhi, uh, I was a little confused by it because I was the two guard there and Kawhi was my position. And um, I was a bit nervous for that competition that was coming. Um, but if we fast forward that and uh, knowing what I know now, being the player that I am, the player he developed into, I wish we would have kept that pick and I wish we would have progressed together. And uh, we could have did some special things in Indiana, but it's great to fast forward to where we at now. We both here in L.A. and um, it, it just seems like it's this was destined. We were supposed to play together. Um, so here we are. Thank you, Mr. Ballmer, L. Frank, Coach. I'm looking forward to this journey with you. And uh, man, we're gonna make it happen, L.A. our way. And now the two-time finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, me too. Uh, just before I get started on the Clippers, uh, you know, I want to thank uh, the Toronto Raptor fans. Uh, you know, I don't have social media, so I'm not able to put out a, you know, paragraph or whatever, but... <laughs> but uh, like I was going to say, uh, just thank all uh, Toronto, the city, the country. Um, you know, it was a great, amazing season. Best parade ever. Uh, thanks to the doctors for, you know, delivering uh, my baby, my baby boy. Uh, he's three months now, still healthy. Uh, I also want to also just want to, um, you know, thank the city as far as the restaurants. Um, you know, giving up that Kawhi and dying uh, throughout the playoffs. Uh, took advantage of that. <laughs> uh, you know, 
the players, they already know what's up. Um, you know, text, FaceTime me, we'll talk. Uh, coaching staff as well. And uh, the whole organization, really. Uh, just thank the whole city. Um, thank you. Um, but now uh, I'm on my next journey. Um, these guys, I think we got a great future. Um, Paul is always a player that I wanted to play with, uh, like you were just saying. Um, when I got drafted to the Pacers, I'm like, they already got a you know a two-way player pretty much. But uh, you know, as our careers move forward, um, you know, I see how he develops, see how I develop, and um, I wonder if we would have stayed in Indiana. But you know, we're here together in LA, both Southern Cal guys play right down the street with each other um, in a Honda Center, not with each other, but game after uh, one another championship game. Been watching them since then, but uh, you know now we're on the Clippers, and it's just I think uh, we got something special. We can make history here, and uh, you know we got the right team to do it with Steve Lawrence and Doc, championship head coach, and I'm excited. Um, you know, watching that video um, that they just presented, I'm ready to go. <laughs> We're going to open it up for questions here in just a second. There'll be some wireless mics passed around. We are live on Fox, so if you could please state your name and affiliation and wait for the microphone before you talk, uh, it would be appreciated by all. I'll, I'll start it off. Uh, Kawhi, I'll send it your way first. What does it mean to be playing basketball for you here in Los Angeles in front of friends and family? Uh, it means a lot to me. Um... You know, these are the Clippers were probably one of the first NBA games I came to. Uh, I mean, obviously it's a different staff organization now uh, as far as uh, people that's leading it, but um, just be able to, you know, for my fa uh, friends and family to, you know, drive to the game and watch me play and see them out there and able to just enjoy the time here is going to be great. Paul, how exciting is it for you that your basketball career brings you back here to Los Angeles? Um, I think the same as, you know, what Kawhi uh, said, you know, just family, friends, um, just being able to be here full time, the interactions I can have with, you know, people I grew up with and, and people that's been around me since I've been a kid. I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm able to be touched. I'm able to, you know, be here full time, be around my niece, nephews, uh, my kids being here with their niece or <laughs> their uh, cousins. Um, it's just, you know, I think it's, it's a great feel all around. I've always wanted to play back home and, and see what that was like and um, do something for my hometown. So um, I think now I'm here, I can do that on a full-time level. Raise your hand. Name affiliation. Wireless mic should be passed around. Of course, first question always goes to Jim Hill. No. <laughs> Absolutely. First of all, Kawhi and Paul, congratulations. You know, welcome home. Uh, I know of the love that you have for young people. And the two-part question I have is, what does it mean to you to have all these young people here in this surroundings for your press conference? And the other is, what was it like and what was it about the Clippers that made you want to play for them when you had so many other options? <laughs> um, for me... I grew up a Clippers fan. Um, I loved the Clippers as a kid. I think I'll answer the first part first. Um, I think it's, it's pretty awesome. I was, as much as a Clippers fan I was, I was a Kobe fan. Um, and, and Kobe, like, was my idol growing up. Um, so I think now with what me and Kawhi can do, we can, you know, inspire that next generation um, to want to go out on that court. I think how we play is a lost art in the NBA where guys want to get after it on both ends. Um, and that's how Kobe was for me. He was a guy that didn't care who he matched up against, who he's going to play against. He wanted to beat, beat him on both ends. And that was what I was used to, to watching growing up. So I think for us, we get that, that same opportunity to give back to the next generation and kind of rebrand basketball in that sense. Um, but, you know, Clippers been my team. So, um, you know, for me, it was a chance to come back home and to be a part of something that was already special. Um, I'm not a guy that come in with an ego with, with, you know, that I'm the man. Like, I want to be a part of something special. I want to help build something special. 
And, you know, this is surreal to be home and, and do it for a team that I grew up in and, and wanted to be a part of ever since uh, they missed out on me in the draft. But that's another story. <laughs> That wasn't, on, that wasn't on Steve's time, so it's... None of us is here. <laughs> so it's cool. Let that grudge go away. Um, you know, for me, I just feel like, uh, you know, with uh, Doc being a uh, championship head coach, um, you know, that's something that I wanted, uh, experienced coach. And the front office is, you know, very uh, transparent with me. Uh, you know, they want to win, I want to win again. And um, just it's an opportunity for us to just build our own, you know what I mean? Uh, to make history. They haven't been to a finals, uh, they haven't won a finals. So, um, you know, that was something big and exciting for me to, you know, make my decision. Guys, uh, Dan Wecky with the Los Angeles Times. This question for both of you. Um, th there's a culture that's in place here already. This team, they, they mentioned a little bit of team that played a certain style with a certain intensity last season. I'm curious how much of what was here last year and, and sort of that identity factored into your decision to, to be a Clipper? Um, I think it's just how I play. You know, pretty much just a good pair. Um, like he says, black top team, they're going hard on uh, both ends of the floor. Um, they want to win, and that's kind of pretty much my competitive mindset when I step on the floor. Um, I'm not a big guy to just have it all on me uh, as far as I'm seeking every attention. Um, you know, if it's not my night uh, or not my game, you know, I'm willing to, you know, pass the ball and do what it takes to win, and I feel like they have that culture here. Yeah, um, I mean, that was the biggest attraction um, with just – how hard they played, and I think with Coach Doc, um, honestly getting everything out of his players, um, I mean, that's, that's such a, a special gift uh, when a coach can grab, and, and, and you can just see their connection on the court. You know, everybody was on the same page. Everybody was pulling for one another, and everybody elevated, you know, their games. Um, so, you know, to be a part of that, that you know, camaraderie, to be a part of uh, what they already had, just sprinkling what we know how to offer, um, you know, that's, that's what made it such an attract, attractive, uh, you know, spot for me to be at. Hi, Ramona Shelburne with ESPN. Uh, I, I'm going to try to ask two questions if you can, just because I can, I guess. <laughs> the uh, first question is just what, what conversations have you guys had with Doc about how you're going to build this team and how you're going to play so far? And the second question is, is simply, what both you, Kawhi was a free agent. Paul, you got here in, 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 in a different way, but, but obviously it f factors into this idea that we have about player empowerment and players getting to choose where they want to be and, and be where they want to be. And just sort of your thoughts on, on where you both rank in that conversation. Well, um, to answer the first question, uh, me and Doc still got a, a dinner. Uh, to go to. He blew me off last <laughs> night. <laughs> I'm house hunting. <laughs> Pretty good excuse for right now. No. Um, but, you know, I, you know I, I look forward to the dinner and getting to, to really just unravel and, um, you know, figure out, you know, what he wants from me, what I need to do, um, and go from there. And just with the whole player empowerment stuff, um, I mean, I didn't do nothing. I was, you know, I worked hand in hand with the front office. Um, we had a great relationship, um, you know, and, and we played, I played two good years there and, and, you know, it was a mutual thing between both of us that, um, you know, the time was, 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 was up and, um, you know, we both had ideas of, of doing things differently. So, um, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I think it should be a mutual and, and, and pretty even thing if both parties can be on the same page. Um, at the end of the day, they got a career as far as, you know, the team and, and the players have a career as well. So um, as long as there's a, a mutual respect between the both, um, you know, should be nothing wrong with it. 